Hi, I'm Alex with QC Charge. Today I'm going to show you how to check the speed sensor for coolant leakage on your large drive unit equipped Tesla Model S. So the tools that we're going to need, you'll, this can be done with just basic hand tools. To take out all the screws on the bottom cover, you're going to need a 10 millimeter socket and depending on the date your car was produced, there might be a couple of 8 millimeter bolts too. You can do this with just a regular ratchet. In my case, I'm going to be using an impact driver for that part. You're also going to need a 10 millimeter wrench. A ratcheting one will be best. And then you'll also need a screwdriver to remove some clips. And that should be pretty much all that you need. The first thing that you're going to have to do is raise your car off the ground. In this case, we have a two post lift, but you can easily drive the car up on ramps or jack it up and put the wheels on blocks because you're going to need to be able to get underneath to remove this cover on the bottom. Let's raise it up. There are 19 bolts that hold the plastic cover down on this Model S. Most of them are going to be 10 millimeters in the case of almost all Model S's. Depending on the exact build date, a few of them might be 8 millimeters. We're also going to need to remove a couple of clips on the bottom. There are four clips that need to be removed. So now we need to remove the bottom cover. These long pieces right here are clipped in. So you just need to sort of pry them back and forth a little bit. And then the whole piece can slide out and be removed. speed sensor is going to be located on the left side of the drive unit, right up in this little cavity here. So the first thing we need to do is unplug the speed sensor. It will help to use a flathead screwdriver and you're going to pry up the little tab, the locking tab for the plug. And you just kind of have to work it out of there. Sometimes they get jammed up with dirt and they can be a little bit difficult to get out. There we go. So now that that's unplugged we can remove the sensor. It's just held in with one 10 millimeter bolt. You're going to want to use your 10 millimeter wrench. A ratcheting one will be best or easiest. And we just want to take out that bolt. Now that the bolt is out, we can remove the sensor. We're going to use our flathead screwdriver again and just gently pry the sensor out of the housing. And there you can see our sensor. You can see it's got some goop and some coolant on it, which is not such a great sign. The other thing you can do is actually put your finger inside the hole and you can see we have some moisture there inside. This car is going to be getting its drive unit rebuilt to fix that issue, hence why it's on the lift. So as you saw when we removed the sensor from this car, it has quite a bit of droplets of coolant and some sort of brown residue on it which of course is a bad sign. The coolant means that our coolant is leaking from the rotor seal and the residue on here um, is probably a combination of grease as well as corrosion from inside the rotor that just gets kind of ground up and creates a buildup of goop in there. So if you see anything like this, your drive unit definitely needs to be taken care of. Here's a couple examples of what you might find when you remove the speed sensor from your Tesla Model S. The first one on the left here is an example of a speed sensor that's clean. As you can see, there's no contaminants on it. The one in the middle here is an example of one where the coolant seal has started to leak. 
It's got some droplets of coolant, as well as a little bit of grease. A little bit of grease might be normal. And then the last one on the left here is an example of one where corrosion has started to form on the rotor and on the steel bars in the windings, which then starts to get ground away and mixed with the coolant to create sort of a brown, goopy mixture. This means that your motor definitely needs to be addressed, and we can take care of that for you here at QC Charge.